Hello, my dear students. I'd like to welcome you in English 802, which is for the technical and vocational education. We're going to start with Unit 9 today, Lesson 7, which is writing a letter of complaint. Before we start our lesson, I'd like to bring to your attention that we are going to achieve three main objectives of today. The first one is to introduce formal expressions used in a letter of complaint. Second one is to identify the layout or the outline of writing a letter of complaint. And finally, we're going to compose and write a letter of complaint. Let me ask you a general question. Have you ever complained about a product that you bought before? Or let's say a service, it's not necessarily that it's a product. For example, maybe you bought a bag or a purse. It could be an electronic device, cosmetics, or any other items. Where did you buy these from? Let's see. It could be an online purchase or local shop or maybe you have ordered that item from one of the social media applications. Have you ever done that? Let's see. And if, you, if your answer is yes, you made a complaint. Why did you complain? What are the reasons that drives you to complain or to write a letter of complaint? Let's see. One of the possible reasons is that maybe there is a damage at the item. Once you received it, you saw that there is damage. Maybe it's torn or maybe there is any type of damage at the item. Or it came in different color. For example, you have ordered a pink bag, but you received a purple one. Or it came in different style. It's not the style that you were looking for, or maybe it was different than the one you saw at the website or maybe at the shop, but the one you got it was totally different, or maybe small differences. If you order clothes, maybe you get the item and the size is different. Let's assume that you have read the uh, comments or the reviews of the buyers, but the one you got was totally different. So yes, here you have a serious issue, which is the size. It could be different in the model itself, different than the item's picture, as I have previously mentioned, or any other problem. There are plenty of problems that you could face in an item that you have ordered or you have bought. In this case, you will seriously need to write a letter of complaint. But pay attention to what is required from you before you write a letter of complaint. Now, if you decided to write a letter of complaint to an official sector, you will need to use formal language. Pay attention to formal language. Why am I using formal language? Because this letter will be sent to an official sector. It's not going to be sent to your friend or your colleague, no. It is somewhere official, so you have to use the formal language. Let's see what are the expressions that I usually or I have to use when writing a formal letter. You have to start with this type of greeting. Dear Mr. or Mrs. And this is if you are not familiar with the name of the person that you are sending the letter to. Or, dear sir or madam. You can't start your formal letter with hi or how are you, because as I've told you, it's going to be sent to an official sector. Moreover, there are some common formal expressions used when someone is dissatisfied with the item that he got or when he is writing a letter of complaint like unfortunately like you are sad you're not happy you're unhappy or you're dissatisfied or I am disappointed because and the reason here differs from a case to another so it could be you're disappointed because of the item price according to 
uh, let's say it was too expensive, but it looks cheap, or um, the color is different, or maybe any other reason. So you show your disappointment in this way. I am disappointed because, and you mention the reason. Let's move to the closing. If you want to close your letter, there are many ways to close formal letter expressions, but these are the commonly used ones. Looking forward to hearing from you soon, or I look forward to your response. And here you are showing the receiver that you are waiting for a response. Now, before we write together, or I show you the proper structure of writing a letter of complaint, let's see the layout of a letter of complaint. In paragraph one, there is a description and history of the purchase or the service. So you have to mention here, where did you buy it from? Is it online or did you buy it from a local shop in Bahrain or wherever? And you have to tell me, when did you purchase this item? Was it one week back, one month back? It depends on the time that you have purchased the item from. In paragraph two, you will give me a description of the problem. Here is a very important part. In this paragraph, you're going to tell me exactly what you have ordered and what was the problem that you are facing now with the item. And the problem is different from a case to another. It could be one of the problems that we have mentioned previously. Um, for example, it's different in size, in color, it's different from the picture that you saw in the website, or it depends what is your problem exactly. Whatever is the problem, my dear students, make sure that you write full description about it. Let's move to paragraph three here, where you need to tell the receiver what is your demand? What does it mean? Your demand is the action required. What do you want exactly now? Do you want a refund? You want to have the cash back? Or you want to exchange the item? What exactly makes you satisfied? You should tell the shop or the place that you are writing the letter to. Plus, you have to enclose evidence. What's the meaning of evidence? If you made a purchase from online, you definitely have a page or let's say a receipt which shows the details of the purchase. If you made an online shopping, uh, for example, from one of the social media applications, you definitely have a chat or any sort or type of evidence that you have, you have to enclose it along with the letter. Last but not least, is the last paragraph, of course, you are done with all the necessary or the required details here where you need to thank the receiver and you should tell him how to contact you back. You write for him that you are looking forward to hear from him soon and you mention your contact information, whether it's email or a mobile number or an address, for example. Now, I'll ask you to prepare notes, have your pens, Write down with me the important or the essential notes that you need to do in a letter of complaint. Let's see. So let's start the structure of a letter of complaint. As I've told you before, it has to have a formal greeting. Like here, dear sir. It could be dear Mrs. and a certain name or dear Mr. a certain name or dear sir or madam. What matters to us now here, don't start your letter with informal expression like hi or hello or how are you. So let's put the details of the purchase. Remember the first paragraph? On April 20, 2019, I bought a headset for my mobile from your website. I received the headset on April 25. There was a manual showing me how to use it. You have included all the necessary or the required details about the item in the first paragraph. Moving now to the second paragraph. I want you, my dear students, to pay attention to the words or expressions highlighted in red because these are the formal expressions which shows that you are disappointed or you are unhappy customer. 
Unfortunately, this is the first expression, the headset doesn't work as I expected. Let's move on and see the details. I am disappointed. Now, this is another expression that shows the reader or the receiver that, that you are really upset because the headset didn't come with all the essential tools. For example, the charger is missing. Now, let's imagine that you are the customer and you ordered headsets and it came to you without the charger. You will definitely be disappointed and you will definitely write a letter of complaint. So this is the way that you should follow to write the letter. Now, let's see, is that the only problem? No, there is another problem. Also, I ordered a black headset, but I received a white one. So now, this is the second problem that the customer is facing. The first one, it didn't come with the essential tools like the charger. The second one, it came in different color. So yes, there is a serious issue. That's why he's writing this letter of complaint. Let's move to the third paragraph. Let me bring to your attention, not to forget, write down notes. Since we are still within 30-day trial period, I'd like to receive a full refund. Look at this, it's underlined because this is the demand of the customer. This is what the customer is requiring. He wants a full refund. It could be different. It could be cashback. It could be exchanging the item. But now here in this letter, the customer is asking for the full refund for this purchase. I am enclosing a copy of the invoice. Remember when I told you previously that there has to be an evidence uh, related to the purchase that you did. Please send instructions on how I can return the item. Now, this is another demand that he needs instructions to follow in order to return the item. Let's go to the last paragraph, which is the thanking and the closing remarks and pay attention to the expression highlighted in red. This is the formal way to end a letter of complaint. So, thank you for your help in resolving this matter. I look forward to your response. So the customer here is waiting for a response. You can reach me at the same address or call me directly. It's not essential to put a real address. It's enough if you mention this because this is just a sample. But in real life, you need to mention an address and a mobile number. Yours faithfully and there has to be a name, whether your name or a provided name from the test or the exam or the book itself. We come to the end of the structure of writing a letter of complaint, but before I end the lesson, I will ask you, my dear students, to go back now to your notebooks or to any notes and write a letter of complaint about any product you have recently purchased. And don't forget to refer to your book, which is English 802 Project Success 1 page 126. Follow the layout that we have studied together and don't forget to include all the necessary details. Thank you so much my dear students for watching and I hope it added something new to your values. See you soon in upcoming lessons. Goodbye.